Hey guys and welcome back. Today is the season finale. Today is actually my 52nd and final Newcastle United match of the season. I've been to every single one of them. Austria, Portugal, Saudi Arabia. It's been hectic. I've enjoyed it so much and it's been an incredible season to say the least. We've been in a League Cup final for the first time since 1976. For the first time since 2003 we have qualified for the Champions League. It is 4th against 12th in the Premier League table and on pretty much any other season you would have said that Chelsea's the team in the top 4 and Newcastle will be down in 12th. So it's a great feeling to be in the complete pole opposite for once. And we got the job done against Leicester City, that's all I can say. I would have been terrified today if we hadn't got the job done. I think this actually will be a tricky game. The problem being for Newcastle is I've got loads of injuries. To be brutally honest, I know some people want to get third, but for me the season's over. Don't risk playing like the Callum Wilson that pitch. If they pick up a long-term injury, they'll be knackered for next season. Don't bother doing it. Give the likes of Eddie Arnison and Anthony Gordon some game time. Let them go out on that pitch and just see what they can do. Like It's a great opportunity today for Eddie out to test some of these players that, that might be here next season or might not be. So It'll be a decent one for sure. But anyway, guys, if you're new around here, make sure you get down there, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, you enjoy. Let's enjoy the party and let's speak to some fans. Yeah, so I'm Tom. I'm Ollie. Matt. And what are we seeing for the score today? So I'm going 3 0 Newcastle. All right. 4 0. 3 1. Yeah, I'm Carl. What do you think the score is going to be, Carl? I like 2 0 oh, today. Uh, he's at first goal scorer. Me and him, we're going 3 1. Colin Wilson, first goal scorer. Oh, Josh Thompson, that's for you, brother. Uh, going to I like Isaac, first goal scorer, I'm here. 2 0. Right. Enjoy that. We're we'll going to Madrid, lad. To see you there. Yeah, I'll see you. Oh, Antony! <laughs> go on in. Go on in, Tom. Go on in. Yes, we are. You enjoy it, lad. <laughs> All right, lads. What are we seeing for the score today? Three one Newcastle. Three one. I think it'll be a tough game because two one win Newcastle. Oh, come on, boys. Come on. Oh.
Kieran Trippier on goal, so all the players put it across goal and Trippier has just rolled it in. I mean, okay, I guess. But yeah, definitely was just doing it. 100% on goal, but the uh, chance of having Christ. Go on. Oh, that's going to be the last half. We've had plenty this half, but we failed to convert. I think we'll, once we get to half time, we'll get some changes. We'll have a think about it and we'll get going again in the second half. I mean, not positives, we'll talk about it in just a sec. There we have it, half time, Chelsea 1, Newcastle 1. Half time for Manu, they are drawn 1 1. 1 1 over here, and to be honest, like both teams are there. Right? Lots of chances created, not many converted. I have to say, I think Newcastle have got positive to take, but I think Chelsea have had a lot of this game as well, so it's a bit of a negative. Everton's drawn 0 0 and because of the fact Leicester is winning. As it stands, Everton leads will go down to the championship. Since we all kick it off towards the bottom three, so let's find out in the second half what happens in all these games. This is, by the way, so Dan Burners coming onto the pitch. But he's not the only one, Lewis Miley. I believe he's about 16, 17 years old and he is making his professional debut for Newcastle.
But listen, we'll come back in 10 years, we'll see how things are going. And if you can happen in the shop, you hear time. That's what's happened this season for Newcastle, where everything's happened so quickly. It's been an incredible season and we're finishing the high. There we have it, I am back in the hotel room. Newcastle have written their final chapter of the season. The book is now closed. We have lost five times in 38 matches. Bear in mind as well that two of those five losses came against Liverpool. So in the other 36 matches, you've lost three of those games. That is the reason why we have finished in the top four. The consistency shown throughout this season is enough to get us through to that final stage. And because of that, we've got the job done against Leicester on the Monday. So that, that match against Chelsea was just, I mean, it was just turn up and play a training game. And that second half as well, it just felt like a friendly, it honestly did. I had no interest whatsoever how the score was going to go. I just wanted to see the players. I didn't play as much just to see how they got on the pitch. I thought Debrag had a great game, by the way, my personal man of the match. And as for the old ones, well, Miley was the big one that came with the bench. He's 17 year old and he looked quite composed, you know, in the, the short period of time he got on the pitch. So well done to him. So close not to get his goal. But for the rest of the team, no, I thought the draw was fair. I thought both teams had loads of chances, but we squandered the majority of them. Almoran should have scored a couple of goals. He missed a, uh, a couple of decent chances. And as for Chelsea, it was the same with Joe Felix. It was the same with their players. We've had so many chances each. And we could have scored a bunch of goals there. But I thought the draw was the fair result, the way I looked at the game. I thought Chelsea had good spells in the match. I thought Newcastle created chances. It was one of those ones where there was... No real danger, nobody cared. Everyone just wanted to go out and just play the game. That was this, really. Uh, we were celebrating Chelsea with the poor opposite. Fair play to Chelsea fans would just actually turn up because, I mean, what a terrible season they had. There was absolutely nothing going for them today. But for Newcastle, though, we were having a Champions League party. To be fair for Chelsea, they've had so many years of that now. So many years of celebrating winning so we being in the Champions League. It's now finally time for somebody else to have a go. And for Newcastle, it's our first time since 2003. And... Listen, I've waited my entire life for this, so I can't wait for next season. We deserve to be here 100%. We've done everything we need to do this season and we've got to the final hurdle now. We are in the Champions League. We've got the summer window to invest. The players can have a few weeks off to come back, ready for pre-season and we go again. But it's been an absolute pleasure, guys. It's been great this season. I want to say once again, thank you so much for the support. Apologies for sound a bit off in the video. I had quite bad hay fever. You can see my face, like I'm, I'm allergic to this grass, I ain't going well at all. So yeah, I've got quite bad hair fever, you're wondering what's wrong with me. But it's been a class season though, we've got plenty of videos coming up on the channel. If you're new around here and you like what you're watching, you know where to hit that button. And it's just a stop of what is going to be a great journey. Everything's happened so quickly, we'll get to the stage we need to be at. But for Newcastle, enjoy it. I think things will get better, things are going to be going in the right direction anyhow. All the players, all the staff members were always straight towards that one goal. And we get there because that's the kind of club we are now. We're no longer this team that has no ambition, awful ownership and neglect the club. We don't have that anymore. We have an infrastructure. We have everyone at our disposal. And it's like a game of chess. We'll play the pieces we need to play. But ultimately, we'll win the game because we know exactly what we're doing. And that's just how it's been with us so far. We've done everything we need to do. Quicker than I expected as well. I never in a million years thought Newcastle get top four. I don't think we get any form of European football this season. Because of that now, I've got to get a murder tattoo. But yeah, that, that was my honest thought. I don't think Newcastle had a chance in hell. I get European football. I don't think it was realistic. Look at me now. I'm standing here telling you about Champions League football. That's what we can do. Not to mention as well, we were also in a cup final this season. So it's just been class. We're getting there. We'll get to where we need to be. But for now, though, enjoy the ride, guys. I wish you all the best. Take care. Plenty more videos on the channel. And I will see you all in the next one.